Hello, my beautiful, amazing family and friends. Welcome on in. This is your spiritual nourishment, and I am your shaman empress. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you some spiritual nourishment. Okay. Now, look, check this out. You guys know I get a lot of my titles um, through the messages. Okay, we pull everything from the universe on my channel. So when you're seeing my titles, my thumbnails, all of that um, separated from just the general daily messages that we do when we are um, connecting with um, the universe and stuff like that are coming from the messages. So is this one. Um... I've been noticing a lot of reconciliation, a lot of people that want to come back, a lot of people that want to come back to you. Now, I do, on my channel, we do discuss contracts. As you guys know, this is a Twin Flame soulmate channel, and I am a Twin Flame. So, when it comes to that kind of energy, we connect very well. So, you will hear me speak on Twin Flame energies as, like, every other Twin Flame that has a channel or other Twin Flame channels. Okay, so that's that. But what I'm saying is... There's been a lot of wanting to come back energy. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a twin flame. For others of you guys, this could just be like a mate to your soul. I want to reconnect to you. And reconnection comes after disasters. Reconnection, reconciliation comes after the breakup, uh, after the storm, after you guys have been through some things, okay? So you have been through some shit with this person. You guys have been through some ups and downs. You have had an ending. Honey, some shit then came crashing, burning down. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And this person wants to come back to you. So this is going to be for those of you guys that are going to connect with ghosting energy. If you want to say this person ghosted you. For you guys that want to say this person was capping on me. For you guys that don't know, capping is lying. You know my ass is getting old. So I'm trying to make it so we all have an understanding. Everybody's up to par. Capping means lying. So if this person was capping on you, all right, they no cap. When I read, we don't do no caps over here. But, okay, this person could have been, uh, you know, capping on you. Now, if this person left you on red. Damn it. For those of you guys that don't know, what is leave on red? Like, if you send this person a text message or an email, if it, or sorry, I'm getting old. It could be email. Damn it. Um, so and maybe off. they read it. Or maybe, and they didn't respond, or maybe they didn't and still didn't respond, but they saw your ass sent it. That's still leaving you out there, leaving you hanging, right? So this is all under that ghost-like energy gaslighting. If you have been gaslit, all right, all of those things, right? So let's go ahead and see what is going on. This is going to be a message from that person. Yeah, her, yeah, him. So let's see. Because the this is this person has a message. All right, for you. So let's see what they want to say. Hell yeah. All right, this person is toxic. They was toxic when they was connecting with you. They knew that. They had temptation. This is someone here um, that kind of could have knew what they were doing, but they wanted to get you hooked on them. Yeah, Ace of Cups in the Four of Wands. They wanted um, this. This is also someone that wants a new start with you, wants to reconnect with you. I heard reconnection. Yeah. Yep. Here go the page of chalices. This is someone that could want to apologize. Um, open you up emotionally here because they could feel wrong about this. Yeah. Because this is someone that's under judgment. This is a spiritual channel where we have spiritual conversation. This person now is under judgment because of what took place, because of what they did here. All right. Yep. And this is what they have from you secretly. And that's what I've been getting a lot. A lot of these people want to apologize to you, but they want to do it in a secret. This is someone that doesn't want to do it um, in front of people. They don't want to admit that they were wrong in front of others. They don't want others to know. They could even want to keep this reconciliation a secret. What's the message from this person? Show me the message from the person. The North... Um, Someone who, someone here could be, yeah, ding, ding. Someone here could have called you a person a narcissist, whether this is a woman or, or a masculine, male, alpha, female, all right, um, divine, feminine, masculine, divine, feminine, female. Someone here can also be, look, I heard man eater and womanizer. Well, goddamn. Damn it. Oh, child. What is the, the dinosaur sideways? 
this person is scared to death to come um, to talk to you. Yeah, to reach out to you. And this is not a big offer. So they're even um, nervous to even give you a text message, sent you something small. This is a page of coins. And they're too scared to do that. All right. They're intimidated. This is um, here. Um, by something here. This is also someone that's getting haunted by something that was done here. Yeah, the five of chalices. All right, they've been crying. This is also someone that knows that they, um you've been crying. Your minute and Scorpion wanted to show herself here. Maybe both of you guys could experience some kind of grief and sorrow. Whatever happened here, yeah. Mm hmm. That's what that's what this is. Let's see what is going on. Yep, the ten of uh coins is here. Capricorn energy. Ooh, what is this? And we have the Queen of Chalices. Yes. That's that Cancerian and that Geminian. Very strong here. Temperance. Getting things back in balance. Getting them things back in order. That Sagittarian energy here. And we got the Knight of Wands, huh? And they've been missing you sexually. This is someone that's very passionate about getting things balanced back between you and guys. Lovers. I could also be talking to the same-sex relationship. Okay. Um, um, this is my LGBT tarot deck. Okay, guys, for you guys that don't know. All right. Um, so I could be also talking to the same, uh, sex relationship. I don't have, it doesn't have to be. Um, both of you guys could be in your divine feminine energies. We do have both energies, how we operate in there and them makes a difference. Some of you guys could also be guided. There's a lot of angelic energy here. Um, that is, you know, around you guys, which is, you know, um, in tarot, um, the lover's card is represented by an angel. That is Raphael. All right. I, our angel, um, Raphael in tarot. All right. You see, uh, that white angel right there behind the two. Okay. That is Archangel Raphael. Hold on. Let me get me something I can point with. Oh, shit. All right. I lost my wand. So we'll get my Jasper. <laughs> See, this is Archangel Raphael, God in here, all right? Bringing two fruitful people together there for the beautiful Geminian energy. Um, yeah, now your angel number is 9105, okay? Also, I am picking up on um, 9156, okay, guys? I will hashtag both of them down below. All right, guys, so you guys um, can look them up single digitally or any way you like to look them up along as you have them, guys. All right, um, here, okay, this um, angel number does relate to relationships, money, and positive changes. <laughs> um, this is also letting you know that you need to take action now if you want your life to change. This is what your person could be realizing if they want their life to change. Not only their life, this situation to change, get any better here. They're going to have to start um, take making positive moves, positive decisions because ghosting you, uh, you know, gaslighting you was not it. Leaving you on red was not it. Copy was not it. <laughs> Okay, whatever part is for you, okay? All right, now, um, before we get um, into this a little bit more, this is also someone that I told you, this person is definitely on a journey to get things rebalanced between you and them. I'm also picking up on that Sagittarian and Scorpion energy as well there. Um, this is what this person wants here. Um, they have been trying to get their emotions a little bit balanced out as well with the Five of Chalices and Temperance. Okay, so things here could have been a, um, a lot emotional between you and this person here. Even when they're trying to reach out to you, things could be like a little bit of balance. Shaky, uneven, maybe with their thoughts, maybe with how they feel. This could even be with them struggling on how to do this, how to reach out, how to connect here. For some of you guys, they do want to make sure when it comes to the cups, the emotions, the feelings, that it's going to touch you, that it's going to actually mean something when they decide to do this. This could be why they're in the nine of swords when it comes to the sword energy, being very nervous when it comes to connection but that's what they want to do now in the future they do they are coming in in a night energy this is not a king this is not an emperor so this is someone here that could still have to work still have to mature up in a sense here um they could be immature like okay there could be an age difference between the two of you guys with the night with the uh knight of wands and the queen of chalices being here uh spiritually you know 
um, take out how it resonates. Um, in spirit, it could be in age, it could be in attitude, it could be in how you do the Ten of Pentacles when it comes to your pentacles. Um, how do you build? What do you do when you think about money? Do you save? I mean, what the fuck? Like, what is it? You know, and you that worries them with the Nine of Swords here because the pentacles are shaky. It's Ten of Pentacles. That energy's here, but pages are coming out and knights are here. So either this person could be very immature, immature like, or the way they think in here, or this person here is. This could be why the, um, or you, they could feel like you are, excuse me. This could be why this situation hasn't grown much, they feel like, and there should be balances in this. Now, the wand energy is very passionate. Journey energy. Someone someone here, you know, I mean, it's like there, there's a point where, how can I say this? <laughs> Sex is good, but it will become boring if that's all it is. You got to, you know, to have a relationship. This is why here, either why this, situation has ended or you know someone has ended it and wants to um come back to you but this person wants to reconnect with you what's the nine of swords in reverse they're nervous about this like hell though i mean but if there it's like you know uh there it's like half and half sometimes they feel better than others about connecting This is someone that know they want to have sex, though. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, look at this. The king of chalices and the queen of chalices. They want a relationship. They do want to connect. This person could also be led by the um, dragon spirit here. You could be seeing dolphin. You could have dolphin totems also around you guys or whales is also what I'm getting here. Uh-huh. Look at this. The four swords. So this is someone here that is saying, okay, when I ghosted you, when I gaslit you, when I left your ass on red, when I was capping on you, um, I was very immature. I had to heal. I had to grow. And that's what they had. The angels have been pushing them here. That's why your angel number came out as it did. Nine um one zero five. Okay, don't forget to look at 9156 here. Yeah, but they want this new start. All right, let's see what else is going on. They're showing me these cards, so we'll rock with these. All right, I'm seeing two cards, so we're going to use both decks. Oh, okay, honey, they has been drinking man or woman. And when they yeah, they, when they drinking, they in their masculine-ass energy. All right, sitting there drinking, drinking shit, mixing shit together here. Someone here could be into uh, Julia, okay? Or they mixing liquors together. Someone here like to mix liquor with wine or some shit like that because they holding on. They want to hold on to you because when they did that gaslighting, when they did that north, when they left you on red, when they was capping and lying and shit, it blew up. All right? It sure did. And all the skeletons came out. All right? Oh, yeah, honey. Uh, Here. Now, some of you guys could have had deadly words here, but this person stayed connected to you and they feel like there's unfinished business and they want sexual healing sexual but pandora's box cat flew all the way open and you had the last laugh or you're going to this person is guilty and they want to love you like fire and they've been crying silently i feel like both of you guys have they know this i want to see what's coming out the boom what came out the tire yo child yeah they about to fight honey <laughs> there's about to be an argument. They want to fight for this. Yeah, they do. They want to protest on your ass and they ready to disturb the motherfucking peace because they want to realign with you here, honey. But they feel stuck here. Oh, yeah, they feel stuck. But they want a commitment. Now they want a commitment. Uh-huh. Yeah, sweetheart, because you're a sweetheart. But they trapped their ass. Child! And for some of you guys, yeah, it's been coming out in all three of the readings. And for some of you guys, they may have reconnected with someone else and they have someone else here that they want to reconnect. That they, I mean, I'm sorry. Even though they want to reconnect with you that they had, they could even have kids. For some of you guys, they could have even had like a little small family here, but they still think and still want to still have like a baby with you. This is crazy. And that just keep coming out or vice versa. What the fuck? Damn it. Like, what is that? Yeah. 
For some of you guys, they, you know, they could even want to leave a family and start over with you and still want to have kids or still want you to have a baby. Child, I'm serious, homeless. Want to move out and everything. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> All right. Ja, I don't know, honey. Let's see what they feelings and emotions is. I don't know what to tell you. That's what they said. You heard the man and you heard the woman. What's they feelings and emotions? Oh, my beautiful universe. Someone here likes when you walk around naked. Honey, this person is haunted by their demons, too, honey. They haunted by their demons. They stand on the porch to get air and shit. Somebody do. When they think about you to get their shit balanced, they could even sit on the porch. Yeah, love. Get some, gifts. some. It will cheer your ass up, honey. And they want, somebody here wants some sex, too, honey. It's dark and you can't see an effing thing, child. They be outside sitting on the porch in the dark looking at the gut, child. Bye. Get your head out your ass pronto. I just need you to know, child. They want you to send a naked picture. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. Uh, man or woman. And you already know they be like, child, they be acting like they don't like the eggplant uh, pictures, but some of them do. Mm. And vice versa. Yeah, sex them will make their fucking day. They want to sex you, honey. Send a pitch. Oh, and they want you to send a pitch. Shout them down. We dropping out of y'all. Y'all doing a lot. Okay. I want to see something because they've been missing you sexually. I'm going to look at that because this is the person that tried to get, at, um, you know, out on you. Let's see. And what is the night of ones? Now, what are they thinking about when they think about the night of ones with this person? For some of you guys, it's the last time you, um, child, it could have been with you. You, mm, you could have wrote this person. All right, or something like that. Or they think about you right now. All right, what are they thinking, Holy Spirit? Oh, child. I told you. Yeah, someone here like to do it sideways, too. Someone here been thinking about your doggy style, too. God damn, I can't be putting this on YouTube. They're thinking about this quickly. Someone here is just looking for the word, honey, and here they come, honey. Ain't nothing going to stop them. Child, not a UFO, nobody. Damn it. That's what they're going to do. That's what they've been waiting on. And, um, yeah, it's like, yeah. And it doesn't matter. You do, you have that, y'all got that one bond, that one connection. So if they have connecting with somebody else, someone here. I got a sad message for somebody. Child. Oh, my God. <laughs> This ain't funny. I'm sorry. It's not. But it's the... Okay. I'm going to put it like this. Let's say this person is with some... Obviously, they ghost you, they gaslit you because they already had somebody for some of you guys. They're going to be at home. And if, if, if you give them a sign or secret news, this person is going to leave their damn house. This, and this is somebody here, child. They will... They're going to walk right out their family living room, child. Soon as you, soon as they think you... All right. If you give this person a sign or they think they can reconnect with you, honey, somebody here, just know they are le they're leaving the whole Netflix with the whole family. I'm serious. The baby, the, everybody's sitting on a couch watching TV. They is getting up. They are leaving. All right? They are not playing, child. They don't got time. Child, yes. That is the truth. They are jumping in their car, sneaky as fuck. And they just, and they're going to sit there and think about lies, think about shit what they can see me for. All right, no insane. more sexual energy for Damn you. It. We're done here. You're doing too much. Yep, I told you. And they definitely want you to send that picture. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to send this person an old picture. Damn it. You're oh, my God. I can't out. stand you. Oh my God, y'all thought y'all got that on me. This is one of those old sexy pictures you got on your phone. Uh, like, it. yeah, he gonna like this one. She <laughs> damn it. I'm done. So we ain't, I'm off. done. I should have never. Okay. Oh, child, let's get a separation message. <laughs> y'all are too fucking right. Okay. All right, let's get a separation message. Almighty, oh, beautiful universe, Holy Spirit. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. Honey, you can't take this motherfucker seriously. Damn it. This is also someone here that could be feeling like that since, you know, things ended here. I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can ha have a do-over. I can't. Damn, child, damn, I can't make it damn. up, child. Damn, damn. You accept me for the good, the bad, the ugly, and I couldn't do the same. Yep. 
So there could have been something that this person couldn't accept about you in the past. There is no good reason for the way I acted. I wish I could apologize. And they want to apologize. They looking for a sign from you, honey. Just so you know. All right, let's pull some more messages, child. We need to know everything. Guys, I'm so sorry. You know when I channel energy, I burp a lot. I really hate it. I can't stand it, but I can't help it. It's really good for us because we get messages. <laughs> but I don't like it, okay? So, you know. All right, let's see. Ooh. I think about you constantly, and I don't know what to do. Came out in reverse, so they had, and the fact that they can't stop thinking about you. I realize we are connected beyond what is explained. It's here. I keep thinking about when I first saw you, okay? A couple messages. And will they ever see your ass again? After, child, but you ghost, after they ghosted you, left you on bread. Let, okay, we don't got to say that again. Just know they, they, this is what they thinking about. And this is what they want to know. Can they, will they ever see you again? Child, I don't know. Okay, let's get these overall messages. What's the overall messages? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. What's the overall messages for the collective? What's the overall messages? Let's see. They got a lot of respect. Or they learn to respect this connection once they realize you guys were ahead of deeper connection. This is a spiritual channel. This is a spiritual conversation. So, yeah. They wasn't thinking that with like that. That's why it always hits you after the fact. Like, oh my gosh, right? What's the overall messages? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Clarity. Yep, now they want to come in and give you clarity. They know this is a challenge because they pulled the bullshit, though. But they want to reconnect. Mm -hmm. And they've been admiring you. I heard from afar. Yep, I told you because they recognize. For some of you guys that, um, you know, this could be a mate to your soul twin flame, honey. They in love. Love, 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 love. I need love. They ready to surprise. What song is that? I'm hearing now. I told you they get, they got a lot of respect. Yeah, but this happened after they let go from you. This is also someone that is nervous you're going to let go of them now. Or it will be a vice versa effect. Yeah, but they want to explore this. They also are wondering where you are, if you're in the same place. Yeah, if you moved. Fifth house, Leo, energy. Mm -hmm. Passion, success. Yeah, yep. They don't want to be an op, but that's what they became. But they still have a lot of passion, even when they became your op. Now, for those of you guys, you know I'm trying to keep us on all terms. For you guys that might not know what an op is, this is someone that became a karmic. <laughs> then that's your conversation, or you might not know, what, know already know what an op is. Okay, this is a karmic. This is an enemy. You ain't seeing out of out of this person. You don't trust this person no farther than you can throw them. Okay, I just saw the North Node. What is this? Think in reverse. Yep, they don't want you to know that they're thinking about this here. And they don't want you to know how mad, angry. They know you're mad, angry. Mars, a planet of war. You can also be connecting um, to uh, Mars, an Aryan here. Okay, think is intellect. Okay, any air sign. Yeah, about the... Ooh. I was just going to say, I see the North Node. Look at this. About the past, but they want to come towards the future. Okay, South Node and the North Node is here. Okay, yeah, someone here don't want you to remember what happened in the past. They want to come and make new memories after this energy, after this happened here. They know things are hard here, yep, but they're ready to take leadership, yep. They can uh, be in your energy, may need others to help out with this. 34, 33, 39, 22, 22, 33. Okay, all right, just so you know, could be some ages here. All right. So the this basically a quick Mr. Rogers neighborhood. They want your ass back and they regret the past. Matter of fact, when they think about the past, it makes their ass angry. They're not happy. I heard reflection. They don't like the reflection. They just showed me um the oracles they want me to use. Someone here is coming in to build new memories with you. Cause they think you already think about the past and it's terrible. They could also have heard this from other people. All right, let's get a love oracle first, and then we're going to uh, get you an oracle. What's the love oracle messages for the collective? Mm. What's the love oracle message? What's the love oracle message? Ooh. Oh, damn. Uh, playfulness. 
Yep, they're going to flirt when they do this. Something very playful to open you up in here and shit like that. Because they feel like uh, you're a true love. They know this, though, by the spiritual part. But see, that's the thing with players. They don't think with their spirit, right? Uh, pay attention to the red flags. Now, for some of you guys, you, I told you. Because someone, for some of you guys, they still have a third-party situation they are connected with. Okay? Yep, but they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Or they feel like they're ready to, yep, express your love is here. Okay, just so you know that. All right. Yeah. Making sure I didn't miss anything, child. Okay. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys, if you uh, heard that weird ass noise in the background, even though my background is on. But in the background, guys, all right. My baby girl number's back there. Okay, um, let's get you guys some hot tea, honey. All right. So you know, all right, strong Geminian, Aryan energy is also in the building. Here, you could be connecting to another fire sign. Oh, we got sexual perversion, conflict, magic, mother, nurse fields, investigations. I'm a, what I tell you, I'm a hum, I can't talk. Someone here is going to get up and leave the living room. They're going to call you from the car and everything, child. Look, be mindful. That could be a red flag. This person could still have a third. They, some, this, some of you guys, for a lot, this person could still have a third. They in a third party situation. It could have been a minute since you guys talked. Okay, because this is a ghosting reading, you know, on red reading, uh, you know, uh, you know, they it's copping on you kind of read, lying on you, uh, reading, narc, gaslighting, uh, reading. I'm hot more than one family. Someone here could be Puerto Rican. It's not his child. Something here is recorded. Beginnings is here. This is a reading. Someone here could be getting readings. Black male here. There could be a tarot reader here. Fire signs. Erylian and Sagittarian. Someone here's name could be Lynn. Someone here is from the military. They had a baby. Spell work is also here. Okay, guys. We're going to shut it down right here. I hope this helped you out and answered more than one of your questions that you came to seek today when you came back and stopped by to see me. But before you go, don't you forget to connect to this reading and other readings that you're getting, baby. Connect. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. That's important in tarot because that is how we pull your messages, right? So make sure you are connecting with your energy, guys. All right, these are general messages. So at times, it will partly resonate. Others, it will fully resonate with you guys. So make sure you are stopping by and keeping up with your spiritual conversation and messages as energy is always involving. I love you. Stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video. Upload our shade. Amen.